happy Tuesday. So today I'm going to talk about the Tempest Challenge, which I started about six months ago, but have only now gotten around to uh, making videos for, because really I have resisted putting my face and voice on video. But today in the comfy chair, I am going to tell you a little bit about my first book. Um, about six months ago, May maybe, of 2015, M.K. Asante was coming to town to speak at my college, and I was excited about it. I had heard things, but not a lot of things, about him. And they were selling his book in the bookstore. So I went to the bookstore and I bought a copy of his book and made plans to see him when he came to speak. I am so glad that our school brought him because it was a really great talk. It was a really interesting book. It was done in a really interesting way. The book is essentially a memoir of M.K. Asante's time as a teenager and early college student, talking about how he came up in his neighborhood with um, really rough circumstances, lots of drugs, lots of despair, lots of people being hurt and killed. He talks a lot about his inner life. He talks a lot about his relationship with the Word, with writing, with reading, with people who encouraged him to write. The interesting thing that I found was that as a musician, as a rapper, as an artist, Asante brings this kind of rap music structure function to the book. First of all, he takes music lyrics from the time in which he's living during the, the memoir. So, if it's 1996, he quotes music lyrics that he was listening to in 1996. The thing that was the most compelling for me was this child's really coming to grips with this really dangerous world around him and how he could possibly get out. And a lot of times he's just making do. He's just getting by, getting through the best way he can. It's a really sensitive portrayal of a young man in a society that frankly hates him. The other thing that I really loved about this book was his frank and really loving portrayal of his mother's struggle with mental illness. As I'm reading through the book, I'm thinking, mm, how does his mom feel? about his, this unflinching look at some really intimate and difficult times in their lives together and then come to find out she was actually a participant in making this happen in speaking out for people with mental illness and asking her son to shine this light and this book is a really compassionate look at people that like young black men, society seems pretty happy to just throw away. But So yeah, I, I really recommend Asante's book. One of the most endearing moments of his speech at our school was when our union president got up and was just saying some nice things about what a great presentation it had been and then asked him the important question, Biggie or Tupac, and the two of them just really lovingly argued back and forth about what the two men had meant to the community and who really did more of the work of building community and who was more important and who was greater and who was better and it was just so cute and funny and sweet and loving and this little I don't know I hesitate to even say rivalry but they had this respectful disagreement about whether Biggie or Tupac was the better um, rapper, the better community member. Anyway, I think this book is a great opportunity for you to look inside the mind and heart of a young man who is not content to let despair take him over. He seemed most excited when he was talking to the young writers in the crowd. The writing teachers are really pleased to teach his work. He's connecting people in the younger generation 
with the idea that you don't have to write Shakespeare to write and I love that. I really love it. So that's my first book for the Tempest Challenge. Thank you Tempest for challenging us to get outside of what some of us have as a comfort zone. I know I read a lot of John Sanford and a lot of James Patterson and I was surprised by how quickly I default to these um, white cis male writers and I'm always happy to find good new writing by good new people and I'm pleased that I was able to read this book. Next week I'm going to talk about Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorafor who is a great person to follow on Twitter as well. So um, I'll see you then. Like and subscribe, hang out with me later, and have a great week.